Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to the view from here. My name is Kent. Uh, welcome to my channel. I've only got a few things on here so far, so hopefully uh, we can continue with the content. Anyway, today, the view from here is inside my friend's bus, Elsie. She's had this encamperized. It has solar and it's got AGM batteries. Works great. What happens though is when she's out on the road and she can't get shore power or uh, the sun's not great, the batteries can drain when she's using the fridge, even though she's driving around. So I suggested, well, let's get an isolator on there that will allow the um, car, the, the engine alternator, to charge up the AGM batteries while she's driving. So it's a bus. It's already got a massive alternator on it. It has an auxiliary battery for the door and it's starter battery already. So that's an entire system all by itself. The solar is an entire system all by itself. What I'm going to do is tie in after the solar system. So the, um, the solar system will sense the voltage in the batteries and will not overcharge them. This thing will be uh, connected to the regulator that's outputting from the alternator on the engine. So it won't overcharge the batteries. So that's taken care of. Um, it's a really slick system. I've got it on Jasper, my van, but I did a very simple, I did, I cheaped out of course, and I bought only the isolator, this little baby here. So, <laughs> sorry, as you can see, if it'll focus, uh, no, it won't focus. All right, fine. It's a 12 volt, 140 amp. So it has a cut in at 13.3 and a cut out at 12.8. So what that happened, what that means is you get your engine off. There's no connection between the starter battery and the auxiliary battery. You start your engine and the voltage drops. It's going to go back up. Once it goes back up to 13.3 and your starter battery is healthy, it clicks the switch and it starts charging your auxiliary battery. Turn off your engine, alternator stops putting power out, and your system will drop. Once it hits down to 12.8, it clicks off again, isolating your starter battery and your auxiliary battery. So you can kill your auxiliary battery, and your starter battery is still good. I've done that a lot. I have AG, I've, I've got my second AGM battery that I use as an auxiliary. Uh, the first one died because I broke it. I, I broke the terminal. But I had that thing used for 10 years. I charged it up. I killed it. I left it dead. I left it alive. I didn't use a special AGM charger. I, I abused the, the crap out of that thing and it, it had no issues at all. It seemed to have, it handled a load fine. I'd used it for starting if I needed to because I got stuck a couple times. So just wanted to go through this one. So I've already showed you this. This is what I bought. Only this. So then I had to buy wires, cables, connectors. Spend the 50 bucks or 75 bucks to buy the kit. So I'm going to switch you over to the other view and I'll show you what this thing's all about. Okay. So here is the box that comes from Amazon. It's coming out of China. So you get the isolator in there. And it comes with all these other gadgets too. Two power connectors, a negative connector, get some extra bits, you get the wire, you get that. It's like, it's everything in there. I'm like, okay, whatever, that's nice. There's your, it's all packed in this thing too. It's like jam packed in there, it's nice and solid. I've already taken a level, your instruction manual, nice heavy negative, negative cord. Now here's what I was really impressed with. This is the positive. This thing has got to be 15 feet long. It's, it's, it's a nice, heavy feeling rubber. So when you look at it, focus camera, nice crimping job on the wire, really thick insulation on this thing. It's not a zero, um, gauge. I'm not sure what gauge it is, but it's pretty big. It doesn't actually tell you. I don't think. No, nope. it might say inside, but it's pretty big. It's going to definitely. It, you know, maybe a, a, a two or a one. It's not a knot, that's for sure. But it's fat. I mean, and that'll handle, sorry, that'll handle the charge that's going to these things. I have a 
quite a bit smaller. I think I've got an, a 10 or a 12 gauge. No, nope. 10 or an 8 gauge. I think I've got an 8 gauge. Maybe a 6. But this is even better. Comes with the connectors on. Already heat shrunk. Heat shrunk. This one wasn't do, done very well, so I took it off, which is kind of cool because I can now see how how beefy this wire is. So that's that's nice, and that's gonna go. I mean, 15 feet. Like, well, it's surprising how quickly it gets used up. So you get a little bag here with some more bits and pieces, um, screws to mount the isolator, some extra connectors, which is nice in case you need to cut your wire. So oh, I'm dumping everywhere. So, and zap straps. Um, I don't know how much you paid for this, but um, I recommend you getting this kit. It's going to make my life much easier for installing this for her. And um, the same, I mean, I ended up doing mine in my van and I ran one wire too short and now I've got to cut it out and redo it because I didn't, yeah, so. I was wondering if it says here what size it is. Nope. Comes with a uh, really nice schematic as well. Um, and there's a yellow wire on here that you can run to a switch and you can bypass your system, an override wire, and connect your auxiliary batteries to your starter battery for a short bit to start. So if you're, you leave your lights on or something, you've got backup. So that's, that's kind of a nice thing. So you can also hook... Um, you can hook solar in um, to before the isolator if you want to uh, and then it will click over and charge um, if you've got a solar controller it's kind of not necessary so um, like she has a solar controller so I'm going to put this in after the solar controller so the solar controller will shut off if the batteries are, are being charged uh, or balance out if the batteries are being charged. So that's going to that'll work in tandem together. So anyway, I just want to give that uh, show to you and um, I'll keep you in, informed. I'm also working on a bit of a project here. Um, this is a glove box and some wasted space in behind the glove box. So we're going to build a little cabinet to fit in there get rid of this thing but i didn't bring my tools with me sir and um bring everything i need i can probably actually get something accomplished so anyway cheers thank you for joining me from the view from here my name is kent and we'll see you next time